Hi friends, Holly Hobby. Take a moment right now and click that subscribe button. Click that bell so that way you get notifications every time I do a video. And don't forget to comment below. I would love to know the ideas that you guys have so that way I can share content that is exciting for you. Today we're going to be painting a little birdhouse. I found this guy, so cute, at Michael's and it was already built. It's got the nice little handle up top. This video we're just going to be putting down the first layer of paint using some different acrylics. The supplies you're going to want to have is a paper towel, a variety of brushes, a container with water to wash the brushes. You're going to want to make sure that your paint is already open and ready to go. I also have some paper down underneath my birdhouse so that way if it gets messy, which it will, then it's not going to ruin the table. Acrylic paint does tend to dry very, very quickly. I don't get sponsorship from this brand, but it is called FX, which means it's flexible, non-cracking, and non-fissuration paint. The four colors I've selected are Mutant Shift, uh, it, which is a green. There's also a Mutant Shift blue, almost like a teal color, as well as a Mutant Shift pink and a smooth satin purple. Some things to note about this, it says here on the bottle, which is a little hard to read, it's very small print, flexible, non-cracking, non-peeling, and no tack, durable paint with smooth satin finish. That's the, that purple one I mentioned. Ideal for pliable surfaces such as EVA foam and other cosplay materials such as thermoplastics and 3D prints. And I'm actually going to be putting it on wood. So a lot of paints you'll want to look at the instructions to see what kind of surfaces you can put them on. Acrylics actually work great on all, but I do love that this one has such brilliant, vibrant colors as well as the flexibility with materials. So we will be using these for cosplay as well. All right, get yourself set up. Get your brushes ready. I actually have four different ones that I'm gonna be playing with today. I like to pick a brush for each color, and although we're just gonna do the baseline for one color today, um, I'm thinking maybe doing colors in different areas. Later videos, we will be adding some decoration to this and other birdhouses. So the size of your brush tip does matter, and it's best to not just get a generic brand. Uh, you know, these have a really nice base. They're very, very easy to clean. Just takes a little bit of water. Uh, you'll want to make sure that when you clean your brushes that you do get all the color out of the tips and you can easily use paper towel to dry them off and make sure that there's no color left remaining. Even after color is gone from your brushes, you'll want to rinse them through uh, clean water again. And But for the purposes of what we're doing right now, I'm just going to, as I finish a brush with a color, I'm just going to put it in the bowl so that way the color doesn't just dry on to the brushes leaving them stained forever. Now if you make sure that once they're they're done being completely cleaned, you set them out to dry on a paper towel as well because you want them to fully dry. Uh, in some projects we do, you'll notice that I'm going to dilute the paint with water and that's not what we're going to do for this project though. In some cases you'll also want to add a primer. I'm not going to do that in the case of this because I want to capture what the color is intended to be on this particular surface. So get out your stuff, let's have some fun, get creative, and be awesome. So I think I want to start off with this purple since it doesn't have the same metallic shine as the Mutant Shifts. It's a smooth satin. A little bit on the tip will be more than enough. Just scrape that off. You can use a a palette plate for your paints and just start at the top and work your way down. Now you'll note that as the paint starts to get on the material it'll start to get thinner as you go down. Now if you don't start at the top and work your way down you will see brush, brush strokes which are fine if you like that kind of a te texture. It's really whatever is your preference. This cute little birdhouse. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to actually be putting it in the fairy garden. A little bit 
too much paint there. <laughs> now the reason why I'm not using a palette today is just because I'm not really going to blend any colors, but you can absolutely use the palette to blend colors, tone them down with different whites or darker material, and also add some water texture. But I want a nice solid coat. Acrylics do tend to dry faster than oil paint. You'll find if you get an oil-based paint that not only does it not, the brushes don't get clean with water because it is oil-based, but you'll, you'll want to use a special cleaner for that. Uh, we will cover oil painting in one of the videos. But oil-based paints do take a long time to dry and they will have a, a different kind of texture also. When I say a long time to dry, I've been doing oil painting for quite a while and there's moments where I will create the base for a handful of different paintings and it'll take a few weeks, if not a month, depending on the, co the coating I used for that paint to really dry to the touch. You'll notice if you do use oil paints and you want to add something on top of the layer that you've just created, if it's not completely dry, you'll have mud. <laughs> Which, if that's the look you're going for, that's totally <laughs> fine. What I like about this metallic paint is it has a little bit of shimmer in it. So uh, the matte definitely has a really flat looking base, but adding the green trim underneath that, it's got a really nice metallic sheen. And so that'll be, I, I'm getting some ideas of how I'd like to do the rest of the colors here. And there we have it friends, the first coat on this adorable little birdhouse. I really liked using these paints. I like the metallic coloring and hues in a couple of these colors and I also liked the flat satin coloring as well and that purple on top. It's actually in fact already dry up here. So if you wanted you could add another coat or just wait for the whole thing to dry <clears throat> so that way you could prime it for whatever else you're going to do to decorate it. This little guy is going to go in my fairy garden and I hope the little wild animals and creatures love sitting in this little birdhouse. Watch for some future videos because we're going to add some more material to this and make it really fun and whimsical. Now my friends, just like all things, remember creativity is all about having fun. Putting yourself into the creations that you're making. You don't have to fit into the box of what someone else is doing. <laughs> make things uniquely you and have fun while you're doing it because if you're not having fun you're doing it wrong so let's be awesome in all things don't forget to subscribe ding that bell for notifications and comment below i'd love to hear your feedback and ideas for some things to do in the future